Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be covering Web LLM, which is a project that brings language model chats directly onto your web browser. And this is something that is quite unique and quite cool as it's going to be basically giving you a wide variety of access to different large language models right to you on the web browser. And this is something that they're going to acti actively work towards accomplishing in the upcoming weeks. So before we actually get into the actual bulk of the video, guys, please like, subscribe and comment down anything that you want to see. Also turn on the notification bell as it will definitely notify you for future updates that i post on this channel now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so guys as i cover a lot of different things and it will definitely be very beneficial for you guys so with that thought guys let's get right into the video now basically as i talked about Web LLM is a project that aims to bring language model chats directly onto the web browser, which we can see over here as this is using a version of Vicuna 13B on your web browser. And this is just a chat demo of what they've been able to accomplish. Now, what they're using is chat web GPU, which accelerates the performance. And the great thing about this is that there is no server support needed. So this is very easy to run and it doesn't, it's not quite extensive in any way and it's completely free at the moment. Now, the goal is to offer a more diverse option to build personal AI assistance with co cost reductions as well as enhanced personalization and also protecting your privacy with any data sets that are out there. Now, what I'll be explaining is how it works and how you can actually install it, as well as showing you how to actually run it on your computer. Basically, to achieve the actual application, it uses the project uses machine learning compilation, which is MLC, and builds on an open source technology such as Hugging Face, Llama, Vicuna, and Dolly. The team uses TVM with native dynamic shape support to avoid padding to the maximum length, and it also reduces computation and memory usage. This is what helps him in reducing costs because of their TVM's IR module, which allows each function to actually generate a runnable code. And this runnable code is actually deployed on the environment, which is supported by a minimum TVM runtime using JavaScript. And this can be very performance heavy. So with this application and technique, they're able to reduce a lot of the costs. In the recent weeks, we've seen a lot of different advancements of different AI and LLMs being released due to the thanks of open source efforts of Llama, Alpaca, Vicuna, as well as Dolly. Now, because of this, these advancements have actually led the exciting prospect of building open source language models and personal AI assistants. However, these models are actually often large and very computer heavy and requires a lot of large cluster to run influencer data as well as different data sets that are run on servers. Additionally, with these high data as well as memory usage, like large language models, they typically require specific types of GPUs, which is quite extensive and heavy for you to actually run on your local desktop. Now, this presents the challenge for building chat services as they require a large um, like amount of computational resources on your desktop. And this is something that they've addressed by making their own chat box on the live on basically on the web. And this is through Google Canary. And this is something that I'll be showing you how to install later on. But basically, it's quite easy and it's quite like it's a really good advancement as to what they're trying to accomplish and right at the moment they with their chat demo is only based off of one model which is vicuna 7b vo model they're obviously going to continuously add different models which will be supported on their live demo and they're obviously going to release this in the coming weeks uh i'll definitely update you guys in the later weeks when they do release it as this is something that could be very beneficial for you guys as it's easy to access and you don't need to actually have a lot of computational power to run it. Now, in my opinion, this project has a lot of potential to make a significant contribution to the field of generative AI and LLMs. Now, the ability to run these models directly on the client side could also provide a lot of different benefits and it's definitely gonna be very useful for you guys and accessible. So I have a lot of hope and a support for this project. Now, this is very new guys, so obviously the chat box demos is not gonna work for the like very optimized. So 
keep that in mind as this is just the beta access as to what they're trying to accomplish. Obviously you can start running it once they do release a refined version, but in terms of actually installing it, WebGPU can be shipped to Chrome and it's in his beta right now. So what you can do is install Google uh, or Chrome Canary and I'll leave this link, link down in the description below and it's fairly very easy and you basically get the developer version of Chrome that enables the use of WebGPU. Now once you're able to do that, you launch Google Canary and it is recommended to launch it from your terminal which can, you can open up from your Google prompt or not Google, sorry, your Windows prompt or your Mac OS and what you can do is replace the Chrome Canary with Chrome and you paste this code over there and that's basically it. This command basically turns off the robustness check from Google Canary that slows down image generation in two times. And obviously this is not necessary, but it's recommended to start Chrome with this command. And once you're able to enter it, you're able to open up the chat web page, which you can open up on your Google Chrome. And that's basically it on as to how to actually use the actual chat demo. Obviously I tried using it over here, but you know, I'm not able to do that at the moment because of my outdated browser version. So that's basically the gist of today's video guys. Overall, I believe that this is going to be an exciting and promising area of research with web LLM and it's something that is going to be quite cool to see as they keep on developing their actual application. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative guys. With that thought guys, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell and I'll definitely see you guys soon. Have an amazing day guys and I'll catch you later. Peace out guys.